Hey, it's the core gameplay and today I'm going to show you how to get the chatter box. I already got it though, but I'm going to farm for a second one and I'm going to take you with me on how to get it. So why would you want the chatter box? Well, it has quite good perks and its main perk is the holster perk, which gives you extra fire rate. You really want this when you're playing against NPCs or PvP since it will increase your fire rate of your gun by 20%. So it's really good and it will help you to do more burst damage. The other perks is like you get like extra rounds and your fire rate increase while you're shooting. So that's pretty good as well if you use it as a secondary. But other than that, like it's mostly used for just the holster perk. But we are going to get, get this. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. I am going to put this back into my stash and transfer it to my other character so that I can actually re-get the components. So let me wait, let me just equip the other gun and then we can go farm for the components. First off, we're probably going to go get the keys. I'll show you how to get that in a minute. Okay. So I'm gonna put it in there and I'm gonna go transfer it to my other character. If you also want if you already got one and wanna reform this. And you can do the same, just put it in your stash and transfer it to your second character. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. So here's my second character. I'm just going to transfer the chatter box to my second character so that I can get the components. So I'm just going to transfer it. Now it's in her inventory so we can get the components again. If you ever want to reform the chatter box, maybe see if you can get it at a better damage score then you can just put it in a second character and you will be able to re-get the components from the Hina chest keys. So I moved over the chatter box to my second character so that I can get the components again. Let's just take a look at what components we need and actually how to get them. So go back to weapons. You won't have the blueprint yet. Maybe you will have the 500 one but you won't have the 490 one. Because the 500 one you can buy at the shop. But this one you need to get from a mission. So if you if you haven't done this before at all. Then we are going to need some components. You're going to need the loaded canister. The creative magazine. And the modif modified mods. Now you can get them from Hyena boxes. And you can get these components in specific areas. So you can get the first component in... The downtown east area, the second component in the federal triangle, and the last component you can get in Judiciary Square. I can't pronounce that word, like I have really tried a lot, but I can't. So you can get it from this area, this area, and this area from hyena boxes that you open. But before we open any hyena boxes, we are going to have to farm for keys, and you can farm for keys in a couple of ways. You can go into sewers. Let's say here's a sewer. If you see these arrows, you can open little boxes that's on the wall to get keys. Or the second way to get keys is doing bounties. Just defeat bosses. That's hyena bosses. Let me see if I can find one. Um, is there no hyena? Yeah, there's a hyena boss. So here's a hyena boss. If you defeat her, you will see you will get one key. This is probably the most optimal way to do it since you will get a key and you will get some nice loot to gear yourself out with. So do bounties, do the sewers and you will get keys. I will show you how to get keys in the sewers as well since it can be quite confusing sometimes. So I'm going first I'm going to show you how to get a key from a sewer and then I'll show you how to get a key from a bounty. So I am at a friendly control point here where I can donate resources just to make it a little bit easier for me to see the boxes. So I'm going to donate everything that I got so that I can get some extra XP but I can get this buff detection too. Which will allow me to see the boxes a lot easier when I go down into the sewers. You have to take, you probably have to take a control point if you want to do this but mine was already open so just fast travel here and I'm donating my resources. So that I can see the boxes a lot easier. You don't have to do this. But it will help when you do this. So I'm just going to go down here. And open a few boxes. Just so that you can see how the boxes look. And how to get them.
So I am at the entrance of the sewer. I'm just going to climb down. Just slide down. And we are going to look for these boxes. Sure, I can open all this other stuff. But I just want to show you how to get a box. So I'm just going to run around a bit. Look for them. They usually are on the walls. As you can see, here is one. Since I have that buff, I can basically see all loot. So you can open these. And you'll see you'll get keys. I did get an outcast key. But eventually, if you keep going, you will find Ahina keys. Just run through the sewers, all of them usually have keys and you can get them. I don't think there's one in there because I did run this quite a couple of times before but you do get a lot of keys while doing the sewers but yeah, here's another one as you can see. So just do this and you should be able to get more keys. And as you can see I'm already full on those keys. Anyway I'm gonna go do bounties to show you how to get that. So you cleared the sewers a bit and you found a few keys but you also want to do bounties for keys. So if you want to do bounties you just press map and you should see here on the top here there's bounties. If you click this then you can zoom out a bit and now we are going to look for some hyena bosses to do. So there's not, not any here. Here's a few. So if you want to do a hyena boss, you can see the difficulty. It is hard. If you don't want to do it alone, you can see there's active bounty on the left corner. There's activate bounty or you can say activate and matchmake. We are, we are going to activate and matchmake so that we can get some help. Now, if you do get a matchmake, you can travel to their zone or they can travel to yours. If you don't get anything, you can just do it on your own. They're probably not that hard, but yeah. So there's our bounty, I'm going to go do it and when I get the key I'll show you how to actually get the key. Well you'll see it drop. So I'm gonna go do it and I'll meet you when I, I get the key. So I did the bounty and here's the key that the bounty dropped. It's a Hina key so we're going to need that so just pick it up. It will pick up automatically if you run over it so that's good so your keys can't get lost. I would recommend you get about 15 keys just for in case but yeah I'm gonna go farm some extra keys and then I'll show you if I get the components and where I get them. So I'm just gonna show the boxes where I get them in but if you want to see more boxes I do have a video on that so it will be linked in the description. So I'm gonna go farm and I'll see you when I open the free components for the boxes. So I have collected 10 keys and I'm about to open my first box. You can see there's a logo we're in downtown east I think. Yeah, downtown, downtown east you can see the location or the name of downtown east to the right. But if you want to find this place, you just here it is. Just zoom in a bit. It's about here. So yeah, let's go get this. See if we can get the key have done this a couple of times so it's quite easy to get here's the market here is two boxes so if you don't get it the first time there's another box that you can get here just reload I had to kill a few hyenas and there we get we get our first one remember when you get your first one that you shouldn't loot the same area you need to move over to the next area our next area is going to be Federal Triangle where I will loot the next one. Anyway, I'll meet you there. So we are at our next location. They, these keys are random, the components, but I just want to show you how I get them and where they are. This isn't a complete guide for the location since I already made one, but I'm going to show you anyway. So I am in Federal Triangle. This is our second piece that we need to get. I'm right about at the top of the map right here. So let's go get that one have done this a couple of times before since I had to make a guide on this but you can just take up take the ladder up here and we might find a piece we might not we'll see and here's the box let's see if we find a piece and there we found our 
second piece which is great we can grab some extra loot here and now i'm gonna go into the next area which is the hardest per to pronounce so i'm not going to even try so i'm going to go here and see if i can find the next piece piece which is our final piece and then we're going to have to go for the blueprint so we are about to get our third and final piece before the blueprint and this is the location i am in the third zone so here is the zone and if you zoom in it should be right around here if you want to get it there is the lock again i just want to emphasize this is not a complete guide on where all the chest is at just if you are wondering i will link the video in the description so that you don't comment that you can't find all the other chests because yes they are random and you will have to look for them for a bit but if you follow the other video you should be able to get all the components in each zone which i did categorize by zone so let's see if we get it and there is our final piece which is great because it's the last one we needed now we're just going to have to go get the blueprint which is in bank headquarters. Uh, where's this mission? Here's the mission, bank headquarters. We're going to have to run bank headquarters to get the final blueprint if you haven't done it already. Well, you can only get it after you get the free components. Then you're going to have to run it, get a key card and open the uh, uh, golden gate. Where you can open the final line at chest and I will go go through that with you. Okay, so we started with the bank headquarters mission. As you can see, I just did it on normal and I uh, and I am going to get the blueprint since this is a pre-recorded one. So just clear out all of these enemies and eventually you're going to have to find a secret key card. I will show you that in a little bit since i did this before i even recorded everything else so if you run through these doors you're going to see there's like a hyena logo on the top and you can get a key card from there there's also these big windows that can indicate where the thing is at so just loot that key card make sure you get it otherwise you won't be able to open the final hyena box that you need for the key card so let's go to the vault after you kill all of these enemies, you're going to have to open the vault and this is where you can get the final uh, Hina box with the blueprint inside. So just open this box, you're going to see there's like a Hina logos all over the place. Here's the vault where they keep all the money and of course the blueprint for your chatter box. There's a chatter box blueprint and you can finally craft your 490 gear score chatter box. So we gathered all the components, we got the blueprint and now we just need to craft the chatter box. Make sure you've got all the resources, I'm just going to show you where you can craft it. This is the white house, so just hit map. There's the white house, we are in the white house, so if you go through that door you can just run to the crafting station and we should be able to craft it. Go to weapons, click on the diamond icon, scroll down. Make sure you choose the 490 score or whatever your tier is and you can press X to craft or if you're on console just press any button that they indicate for you. So we've got all the components, all the resources, now we can just craft it. And there we have our chatter box. I'm sure you heard my cat in the background since he's in front of my door, he wants to get in. So. Shame. Yeah, let's just equip this. Can we equip this? Let's take a look at our new chatter box. Once you once you equip your chatter box, you can take a look at the stats and enjoy it. Hope you have fun with your chatter box. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this and want to help me reach a thousand subscribers, then you can subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.